is Alex at CES 2024. We are with uh, Rob at TCL's booth. We're going to take a look at uh, a more in-depth look at the new Next paper that they just announced. So, Rob, what can you tell us about this new kind of screen display? Absolutely. This is the third generation of Next paper technology. Um, it's built around trying to make uh, a more comfortable viewing experience possible for people who spend a lot of time like me on my screens. Um, it filters out 61% of blue light, uh, so that protects your eyes, but it still manages to maintain this vibrant color, really good contrast, and excellent um, uh, motion flow. Um, it's a hardware and software solution, so there's multiple layers of proprietary technology that built into the screen. So instead of putting a screen protector on that might be uh, filtering some of that blue light, this is actually built right into the glass. Um, and then the software is what helps it to maintain its brightness and uh, and color accuracy. So. The third generation of Next Paper now brings us up to an almost one-to-one -one ratio. It boosts the brightness to about uh, about 10% more than the uh, last generation, and that helps you to have a really uh, conventional experience by, but also getting all of those benefits of Next Paper. It has a matte finish, which actually feels like paper and gives you um, a little bit of drag when you're using a stylus on it or whatever. So it's a really good productivity tool as well. And this is what I like to show about the latest generation. In this 14 Pro, we built in a hardware solution that allows you to turn off the color mode and go straight into a paper-like display. So this is, we call this uh, color ink, and then there's also a full grayscale version that I could toggle to, but takes a little bit longer. Um, so you can have that almost that e-ink or e-reader type experience, or you could switch back and have your full tablet mode. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to make sure that we distinguish this. This is not e-ink. It's its own thing, right? This is not, yeah, correct. This is not e-ink. This is uh, a proprietary technology that we've developed with our partners at CSOT. And we've been working on it probably about six years now. Um, and this is really kind of bringing it to the, uh, to the culmination of what we've been expecting from it. Uh, it gives you that e-ink experience. Yeah but also with the full backbone of an LCD tablet. Yeah, because it is so much more vibrant than anything e can provide. Uh, I was also wondering, during the press conference, I was thinking, like, is this Gorilla? It's not Gorilla Glass, right? It, it, what kind of protection does this offer? Is it scratch-proof? Does it have any of those things? It, it, it's scratch-resistant. It's fingerprint-proof. Um, it's our own technology. We build it. We, we've designed it. We built it. The nano coating on the top definitely gives it a little bit more protection than your normal uh, traditional glass. But yes, it's it's a uh, TCL technology. So uh, what would you, I, I guess like for this particular topic, it, it is coming in the market very soon. Um, what applications would you see this being utilized with? Something like Photoshop, Lightroom, or, or what, what kind of application do you think would be beneficial for such technology like this? Sure, it's a great question. I think that um, primarily, this tablet is not a replacement for a PC or a Mac, so it doesn't have that level of processing power. So something like Photoshop might eat up a lot of it, but it's great for other design functionality, CAD work, um, it's great for writing, it's great for taking notes and reading, um, and any kind of like building PDFs and that sort of thing, great on here. Uh, it also has the built-in um, connectors, so you can put a keyboard on it and use it as a laptop. Um, has a great camera array. Um, it's got two cameras on the front. So almost anything that you would do with your laptop from a business uh, functionality perspective, you can do on this. I just wouldn't recommend it for something like heavy design work. And uh, I guess another question I have is, this is strictly just like a screen tech. It has nothing to do with, like, let's say, uh, a developer with a, a, a making a game. Uh, do they have to write new code for this, or it just no, no. straight up works? Exactly. It's a, it's a screen technology, hardware, software that manages the backlighting, the color. Um, so it can be baked onto anything else. In fact, if you look at the displays that are back here on the wall, there's a 42-inch uh, a version of the screen. Uh, so. 
Yeah. And do you foresee this having better battery life than the traditional backlit screen? Uh, I'll go through that again. <laughs> It, it happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and do you foresee this, I guess, having a longer battery life, like a traditional e-ink display would, or uh, does this actually draw more power? Well, it's more like the traditional battery that you would have on a tablet. So it it's not eating up any more than a traditional tablet would, but it's not quite as uh, as efficient as an e-ink display. But that's also because the e-ink is so slow and um, and obviously doesn't have the color or the backlighting. This thing does have a massive battery, though, so I don't foresee you needing to recharge it, you know, more than once a day. And my final question is, uh, will we see this, I guess, sc eventually spread apart, sc uh, sorry, spread across all of TCL's things, like uh, television maybe potentially, or other things like that? So, I mean, we've already have, we already have it in three sizes of tablet and two phone, uh, two sizes of phones. Um, and, by mid-year, all of those products will be in market here. Um, and like I said, we're showing a display over there with a larger form factor. I don't know that it would be something you'd want as your television, but it might be a great reference monitor or uh, a, a productivity monitor. Um, I think it'd be awesome for those things. For television, you still want that full micro and mini LED experience and get that, uh, you know, that quantum dots color. So I don't think we're quite there yet with Next Paper, but it's great if you want to put it in your office. Well, thank you so much. This is awesome. We're going to keep an eye on this. Definitely want to get our hands on this uh, to review. And uh, thank you so much, Rob. Appreciate it. Thank you, Alex. Yeah.